It's February 12th, 2019, and the title of the episode is Panic Central Banks Go Full Fear Mongering. Gold is about to be weaponized. Now, before we get started, have you ever noticed down at your local supermarket the staff are getting older, the older generation needs to work, and really, you have to ask why it changed. The only reason that you're going to be working into your retirement is that you didn't save enough, or what you saved didn't work hard enough for you. Retirement doesn't come cheap, so you need to do something different, something which beats inflation, not just keeps pace with it. Now, precious metals have proved time and time again they smash inflation and rising costs. So call Noble Gold Investments at 877-646-5347 or fill out the link below to receive the free gold and silver investment guide. Let's get into the economic collapse financial news. Now, the central bankers, they are panicking. They are afraid and they realize what is coming. Now, if we go out to the UK, the EU, they are pushing fear like there is no tomorrow. I mean, they just dialed it up. For months now, they've been telling us that if there is a no deal, you're going to see food riots, trash crisis, blood in the streets. It's going to be awful. And they're doing this because they're afraid. They're panicking because there might not be a deal. And a no deal situation is not good for the central bankers. They even stepped it up. They said that because of the no deal there might be malnutrition starvation warehouses will run out of fresh food and medicines and people then would die so we need to order body bags so what they've done here is they've gone out and they decided they've gone out and they decided to order body bags for the worst case scenario for a no deal brexit Now remember, think the opposite, think mirror. The central bankers, those elite, they always push fear. But what's happening is they're afraid, they're panicking. They're throwing everything out there to scare the people into submission. Their worst fear is that there is no Brexit deal and the country does well, which it will. Then other countries will follow the UK. The EU would cease to exist in its current state. The EU, the elite, the central bankers, George Soros, they're all panicking. Actually, George Soros wrote an article. And the title of this article it, and the title of this article is very interesting. It says Pro-Europe majority must wake up before the continent sleepwalks into oblivion and the EU vanishes. Why do you think he's writing this article? They are in a deep panic. He slammed the pro-EU majority and said they needed to wake up imminently. He said that if there is a no Brexit deal, a no deal, it's going to be a disaster. The EU is going to follow in the footsteps of the USSR. The EU will vanish. Now, we know that George Soros is completely against the Brexit deal. He doesn't want this to happen. We know this individual, well, he pays for all those illegals coming up to the US throughout Europe. He has many, many different agendas and he doesn't want the people in control and the reason why he wrote this is because he's nervous and he's afraid he sees what's happening he sees the people waking up and as more and more waking up and as more and more people wake up people are going to start to realize who the true enemy is the true enemy is the central bank Within the central bank is the elite and the rest of the individuals. This is what they're afraid of. And this is happening around the globe. There is an awakening happening right now. In the United States, we also see the awakening. 
We see people are coming out in droves to listen to Trump. People are agreeing with Trump in regards to the border wall. People are starting to realize what has happened in this country, what has happened around the world. Now Trump, he has been setting up the central bank, trapping them, and this is on purpose. Think about what has been happening right now. He's been telling the Fed not to raise interest rates because look at interest rates because look what happens to the stock market. Look what happens to the economy if you raise rates. The Fed went ahead and raised rates, raised rates, and all of a sudden they decided to put this on hold. Now Trump is showing that the economy is doing better than ever. Actually, the Jolts report came out, and this is Janet Yellen's favorite labor market indicator, and the Jolts report came out from the month of December, and it showed that the job openings are soaring. They're an all-time high of 800,000. The Fed, they are trapped. In, at one hand, they have Trump contradicting them. Don't raise the rates, don't raise the rates, you're going to bring down the economy. On the other hand, they have this incredible indicator that the Fed has used in the past showing that the economy is strong and they're not raising rates. Trump has pushed them against the wall in a corner. So this is the 10th consecutive month in which there were more job openings than unemployed workers. In other words, in an economy which there was a perfect match between worker skills and employer needs, there'd be zero unemployed people at this moment. Of course, this is not the case. And the Fed, they're positioned for an economic slowdown. We're not seeing an economic slowdown. We're seeing the opposite happen. So Trump has trapped the Fed. The economy, according to statistical numbers, is fantastic. But the Fed is not raising rates. Trump can use this against them. It's fantastic. But the Fed is not raising rates. Trump can use this against them. If the Fed raises rates and the market comes down, he can use this against them. He has the magic wand. The patriots are in control. When you have an economy that is a complete illusion, you can make or manipulate the economy in any way you want. You can make it look strong, you can make it look weak, you can make it do wondrous things. And this is what Trump has been doing. This is why the Fed right now is trapped. Trump is controlling the Fed. And what they're going to do is they're going to use gold to bring down the Fed. Q has been telling us this. Q has been posting this. So what has China just done? They have accelerated their gold buying spree. Beijing appears to have joined the global gold rush, increasing its gold reserves for the second month in a row in January. And you can see they took on 59.94 million ounces. China has long been silent on its holdings of gold as many, many countries are turning away from the dollar. China right now is signaling and warning that the end of the dollar that has existed since 1971 will be coming to an end. Gold, gold is going to be weaponized. And it looks like there's a coordinated effort between Russia, China, and the U.S. Remember, Russia and China, they've been accumulating a lot of gold. Q has been telling us that gold is going to be used to bring down the Fed, the central banking system. It doesn't mean that maybe the United States all of a sudden finds all this gold, or there is gold someplace else, but all, all that has to happen is gold needs to increase in price. As more and more people see gold rise, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, people will start getting out of dollars and they will move into gold. And as more and more people move into gold, there will be more of a demand in gold. This is also an indicator that there's something wrong with the paper currency. 
because it happened for currency. Because now gold is rising and what is wrong with the dollar? Think about what happened after 2008. Gold started to rise to 1900. Now the Fed knew at that point in time that if gold continually rises, people are going to say, well, wait a minute. Why is gold at 2500, 3000? What is going on with the dollar? Something is wrong. This is going to be used to bring down the central banking system. Russia, China, they have gold. Many people say there's gold someplace here in the United States. Maybe they even have it in Fort Knox. We don't know. Q has hinted that gold will bring down the Fed, but hasn't told us where the gold is located. So we can see that everything is moving in the direction of bringing down the central banking apparatus. When we start to put all these pieces together, think about what is happening right now. Out in Europe, the ECB still is in the negative interest rate area. They can't increase it. The Fed put a hold on their rate increases because they knew that if it continued to do this, the economy would fall apart and Trump would blame it on them. Trump is controlling the Fed. Q has told us that the Fed, the deep state, they were going to try to bring down the economy in 2020. It looks like Trump, as of right now, put a hold to all of this. UK is trying to break away from the EU. The central bankers, well, they're fear-mongering and telling the UK that it would be a complete and utter disaster. When the UK breaks off from the EU, and let's say there's a no deal, other countries are going to look at this and say, well, wait a minute, why are they prospering? Why are they doing a lot better? I thought it was going to be a complete and utter disaster. Now remember, when they had the referendum, they told us back then that it was going to be a disaster. It didn't happen. Once countries disaster, it didn't happen. Once countries start to realize that the central bank is no longer needed, how will they know this? Because they will watch other countries. As soon as one country gets rid of the central bank and they prosper, the other countries are going to say, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why are they doing so well without the central bank? Maybe we don't need the central bank. And that's how it begins. Then they bring in gold. Then they bring in the weapon. And they use it against the central bankers. Because their paper currency, it's not backed by anything. It's just printed out of thin air. And it will continually devalue and devalue and devalue, no matter what they do. And if they try to create more currency, guess what happens? It devalues further. Why do you think the dollar has lost about what? Has lost about what? 98, 99% of its value? That's why you see inflation. Not that the items are going up, it means the dollar is decreasing in value. You need a lot more of those dollars to pay for the same exact thing. But those items, they haven't moved up or down in price. We're always going back to the devaluation of the dollar. That's the problem. Now, when gold comes into play, and it takes many, many dollars to buy that same ounce of gold, Think about it. Right now, it takes about, what, 1300 to buy that ounce. So you need $1,300. When gold moves up in price, or I should say the dollar loses its value and the manipulation stops, and gold is now 3000 that means it takes 3000 more dollars to buy that same ounce. And then when gold is now 4000 gold is now 4000 dollars per ounce. That means you need an extra thousand US dollars to buy that same exact ounce of gold. That's when people will start to wake up. That's when people say, wait a minute, why do we need a lot more dollars to buy that same exact ounce of gold? What's wrong with the dollar? What's wrong with the euro? What's wrong with all this paper currency? And I do believe this is how gold is going to be used as a weapon to destroy the central banking system. Listen everyone, thanks a lot for listening. Be well, be safe, and especially be prepared. Thanks a lot.